Yes, my name is Hobo Tom. I'm here with some funky reverb. I'm trying to play something in the background with some production value. Here we go, folks. When worlds collide. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, change that. That should sound better now. Yes, and good. My name is Hobo Tom. And this is the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. My girlfriend will be here all show next week for both shows. Let me change the volume again. Funky reverb. But I am here to talk again. You heard a little bit of that very basic promo trying to in integrate some technology. Although it is a red wine Friday. Yes, you must always have your red wine on red wine Friday. And it's kind of late or early. So you're not going to see a lot of me. And this is all about when New Japan came into Daytona Beach for their When Worlds Collide show. And I'm here to review it because I saw it and it was utterly amazing. Um, I'm going to try to keep my comment really as minimum as I can. Probably you're going to hear a lot of me talking in the beginning. Then you're going to see a lot of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Good stuff. Podcast. It is New Japan Pro Wrestling. I do not spare any expense. This is going to be cool, folks. Take a look. So again, we're going to start off. Really, with kind of like the opening of the show, it was kind of weird. Because again, I'm going to show you my ticket. And it says the show is supposed to start at 7 o'clock. Or doors open at 7. Show started at 8.30. <clears throat> I think the show started kind of late. So, kind of, I have some video clips. But again, it was kind of weird. It, it was good just to kind of sit there and you get a feel for the stadium. Um, again, this was part of the CEO gaming thing that came to town. So you are now find a more wretched hive of nerds and geeks than you will here. But again, when you see the ticket, I forget if it's up there, but somewhere. Oh, there it is. Cost me $35. Parking was only $5. Very, very good entertainment for the day. Again, it's an amazing venue. They just... A lot of things in Daytona Beach, they, they need to market it better. Again, best value was a $35 seat tickets. I had almost an unstructured view. Except for that jerk woman who stood up every freaking time. Made me angry. Darn, I'm trying to take videos, baby. Again, it was it was pretty good. Oh, I need to shout out to Rebecca. I said too sweeter for life. Again, she works at the gym I go to. I saw her there. You'll see her in a couple of videos. She's the one in the pink shirt with a kind of platinum blonde hair, kind of bouncing up and down whenever it pressed her high fives her. I told her about the show. Not to sound too preachy, I'd really like to thank 
kind of a whole bunch of things. I, I am Catholic, I'll say that. So I, I would like to thank the Lord, but kind of my situation where I, 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 I've been able to introduce people to wrestling. And trust me, true wrestling fans are really good people. I mean, you can talk to them about other stuff and wrestling, but they're just real. And it's hard to describe that. And I've kind of been blessed. I hate saying it because it sounds so cliche-ish. So here we go, oh, I have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Listen, lady, if I had a blessed day, I wouldn't be here. But again, I, I do feel kind of blessed that I'm able to do all this stuff. I'd like to thank you guys out there in the YouTube community for supporting me. Um, again, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll put that up a little bit later. And leave an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Numero uno person I do like to thank. And I will thank later when we do some more shows together. My girlfriend being very supportive. Funny backstory, I think our third date was when I took her to a WCPW show. And once I realized she was tolerant of pro wrestling, I said, this is the one for me. But we'll get to that later. Again, shout out to Rebecca. Too sweet for life. For you for showing up. And... It was just an, a really good show. I mean, besides NXT, I mean, where else could I get a seat like that for $35? Although I will try when live comes to town, I think at the end of July. And we'll see what happens. I do want to get some, some SmackDown shows. I want to try and get to a Raw, Hobo Tom Raw. And, and NXT is coming to town too. The only real gripe I have about this show is that the timing of it. It just didn't seem to have the production schedule down tight. And I honestly didn't know there were ring girls in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So we're here because one of them, I swear, almost looked like Randy Cody Rhodes' wife was there, it seemed. And again, for part of it, they just seem to do a lot of testing on stuff at the very beginning. It's like, they, this should have all been ironed out. I understand it's in convention center, but I mean, please, you don't need 20 minute breaks between every match. Crowd dies. Actually, a couple.
people, actually, actually a lot of people did leave at kind of like the <laughs> intermission. I'll get into that later though. They had the announcers there, they just seemed to be talking with each other, can't hear them. And again, the seats were really good, even, even for the fact that I was in the hobo section. Because my name is Hobo Tom. I think when we got to the seven minute countdown, it kind of filled up more. Again, the, the thing is, it couldn't fill up the convention center, though. I don't know. They should be able to do that, especially for Daytona Beach. I mean, there is a couple promotions in town. One's in Orlando. I know one's local. And there's also Southern Pro Lucha Libre. I'll find their card again eventually. And they are coming to town, I think. I think it's been delayed for August because, again, July is kind of a busy WWE. It's hard to compete against WWE. So the good thing is they had some dark matches, and dark matches were relatively fun. The well, first match was a cheeseburger match. For New Japan, that's kind of low. But you know what? For a dark match here, it was two local guys. I had no idea who they were. I'll let you guys watch. And it was really fun, though. The crowd that was there started to get into it. I mean, a lot of good work. I mean, uh, the only thing I can say, and again, I do understand that they're, they're new talent. If you're going to hit someone with a kick or a punch, don't, don't make it so obvious. You go, oh. I mean, it has to be a little bit smoother. And again, that's probably as a critique. Again, I've been watching wrestling 
since geez, the eighties. I think they used to hit each other. At least back in the old AWA and WCCW. And too many letters to repeat. Again, the crowd was hot though. There were a lot of two sweets after the one, two, two Good pacing aspect, good technical aspect, very good technical aspect. I mean, it just has a real different feel than others. And, and again, they have a hard, uh, in New Japan, they're allowed to hit the drivers and a variety of splashes. It was just some fun stuff.
And again, it was a fun. The second dark match, and I don't know. One dark match is okay too, especially on this one. It was kind of they could put this to start off maybe. But the first match of the main card was really good though. I'll get into that next. But it had Mike Nakazuma, and I'm sorry if I butcher name wrong. Against at, it was a kind of a gauntlet match style. The first guy I had no idea who he was. Again, very, very quick, good opening match. Excellent heel work. If you want to get a crowd to boo you and want to get a crowd reaction, take notes from this guy. He's good at it. It's an open challenge. Yeah. 
Again, there <laughs> it was like a quick squash match for the first part. There was a jockstrap mandible claw or jockstrap claw that made me laugh. And then he threw his jockstrap into the audience. The audience said, Eh, we're throwing it back at you. That's right, you're not good enough. A guy named Drew Bailey. I, I do think I'm butchering that. I do apologize. I have no idea who he is. Um, came in as a second gauntlet. So obviously the first match wasn't much. I think I went to a couple of seconds. I think I have the whole video of it actually. I'm gonna have to use this, unfortunately, yes. No, you can't! 
You get to use that as a weapon. You have to use it. So, I don't want him to use it, so I will get this out. Again, Drew Bailey came in, kind of the, and this was like a comedy match. It was fun. It was light. Got you in the mood to watch some wrestling. Again, this is the thing about New Japan Pro Wrestling. They do really good work. Again, the greatest technical match ever in the Okada Omega matches. Have the really brutal matches, like with Chris Jericho. And then you can have the comedy matches, where it's lighthearted. 
it shows you wrestling is fun. Again, something to be enjoyed. And again, other people around enjoyed it. And that was really good. And then, when Drew Bailey won, and I'll show you a clip of that. comes out. Again, I, I hate to say it, but I've been blessed. I've seen the, the worst wrestlers and I've seen the best wrestlers. So again, it's a, it's a good shot. Again, just comes out, really thanks the crowd, exudes charm. Excellent. I just wish that fat woman in the seat three rows in front of me Step down. Gosh darn it to fishing heck. I'm trying to talk better girlfriends in my language is gonna be pretty bad. Again, this is YouTube, I want to keep it PG. Again, I really feel special because I I've seen Kenny Omega. I don't know what else to say. And again, Rebecca was a big Kenny Omega fan. I think in this video you can see her literally like jump up and down when, when Kenny Omega just like comes by and gives her a high five. And then the show really starts. And again, it took so long. It took te 10 minutes after the dark matches. The countdown. The first match.
it was good and it still took time. There were so many technical issues. Kind of took away from the match. This was a good match. Again, I feel special. I almost feel blessed in the fact that I got to see Jushin Thunder Liger wrestle live. I remember him in WCW in the Cruiserweight division. It was really good. He was against uh, Rocky Romero in the first match. Again, it was fun. There were boos and yays. They did the slaps and chops. A great... work a crowd, especially Rocky Romero. I mean, Rocky Romero, I think, pulled a tranquilo. I mean, this was just an amazing first match. I mean, I can say, you know what, I, I, I feel great. I feel happy that I can see this stuff. Again, I remember, I can say, I saw Jushin Thunder like, like a wrestler. I just don't have to say, oh, I saw him on TV wrestle. I saw him live. And I have YouTube evidence, because YouTube is forever. Watching him wrestle. Again, just... He has so many moves. The surfboards, the dragon sleeper, the Mexican surfboards, the dragon sleeper. 
I mean, such good heel work from Rocky Romero.
fun stuff, fun action. I mean, fairly consistent. The crowd was hot really throughout the whole show. And to those of you who left early, I say shame on you. Shame, 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 shame. Again, you knew who was a smart there and, and who was just there because, eh, they were here and they told me, shame, shame, and you wouldn't tell me who family do. Who do you? Hooray, wrestling fan. Again, it was for those that really know they were a very smarky crowd. They showed respect to both wrestlers, cheered both wrestlers at the end. And it was fun. Good. I enjoyed it. That match alone was worth five bucks for parking. Then match two. There's more. This was a filet mignon match. And I have to have filet mignon placards and more junk on the wall. But this was the Gorillas of Destiny ver versus Finley and I forget his first name. I just know he's Fitz kid. Finley and Juice Robinson.
the only gripe I have is that the Grill of Destiny came out to their theme instead of a Bullet Club theme. Such a minor gripe. I mean, just amazing. I mean, the, the split tag team work between the Grills of Destiny and Finley and Rot Juice. Tama Tonga is amazing. And the only reason I say that is because he can talk to the wrestlers, he can jaw at the referee, and he can jaw at the crowd. There we go, folks. Three big things he's good at. A number one for you. He just jaws at the crowd. Again, to begin with, a great technical wrestling show by both Fit Finley and Juice Robinson. Quick tags. Fun. Once one got in trouble in their corner, the other guy tagged him out. Once he got in trouble, tagged again. This is the way tag team matches should be. This is the way how tag team matches used to be. Again, back in the day in the AWA, when they really punch each other in the face. But that's a whole other issue. In the quick tags, again, it was fun, fun, fun. I mean, the taunting.
And great teamwork between Juice and Finley. And take nothing away from the girls of Destiny. They are awesome. And do their own amazing work too. Again, this just kind of lined up. This works. It makes me feel something. It elicits emotions from me. Again, this was, this was good. Um... Again, they, they gave the Grills of Destiny a whole bunch of false finishes. Grills of Destiny won as, as they should have. This was good. Then we get into the third match. And that was a flaming young match. I mean, my gripe that they didn't come into the music was wow. Again, this is another amazing match. You had a member from S South Pacific something, SPLX, and Jeff Cobb. Who seems to kind of mimic Samoa Joe? This matters versus Chase Owens, who is, by the way, Bullet, 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 Bullet Club for life. Again, shout out to Rebecca. Too sweet for her.
Only thing he needs is a Bullet Club theme. Then you had Wrestling Chance. Chase Owen knows how to heal things up. He knows how to talk to the ref. He knows how to elicit crowd responses. I don't know what other people say about Chase Owens. Chase Owens is darn good. This was a surf and turf match through and through. And it was solid. Complaining about hair pulling, complaining about tights pulling, complaining about ear pulling. Again, never get headbutt us by a Samoan. Again, you had the kind of heel tactics, the aggressive, arrogant heel tactics of Chase Owens versus the the, the, pow, the Samoan power of Jeff Cobb. Really good, really fun, really effective for a wrestling match. I mean, he even mocks the rest holds. In WWE, the rest holds are a chance to kind of get behind the face. Here, he's, 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 <laughs> Jeff Cobb was down, he's sorry. Ah, ah. He just stood behind him, and then he put him in the reverse chin lock. So again, really fun stuff.
Quality stuff. I mean, good back and forth. Oh, it's just so much fun. At one point, Cobb begins to no-sell everything, and, and Chase looks absolutely terrified. The big thing, Jeff Cobb won, but the crowd was appreciative of both wrestlers. Or two wrestlers. Or two sweet wrestler. Or a Samoan two. Too sweet. Whatever that is. I think that's hang loose, bro. Again. Amazing. That was the third match. It was a surf and surf match. I'm like, gee, how much more is it going to be? Because I think it was getting late. Again, they were running behind. Whole bunch of technical issues. And <laughs> being the hobo that I am. I actually gave myself their seats because then they had like an intermission. And because the intermissions were so kind of wonky back and forth. In fact, I'm going to give myself an intermission right now. Oh, wow, well, I'm back. Okay, so that was my intermission. <laughs> I think just to make sure that everyone knows I'm talking about when worlds collide. Again, trying to integrate some production value. Probably not a lot. But hey, I try. I don't try often. I don't try hard. But I try. We're in the fourth match again after the intermission. That's Iguchi Japan, which featured Rapongi 3K, who are really entertaining as junior heavyweights, versus Taguchi and Dragon Lee. Oh my god. I oh, mind explode. This was a fun, fun, fun match. I couldn't believe it. There were fast punches, fast elbows, fast action. Amazing junior heavyweight match style. Again, Rapungai just came down, and, 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 and well, Rocky Mary came down on behalf of Rapungai 3K. And again, it was a. <laughs> Yeah. 
introducing their opponents with a combined weight of 366 pounds, Ryusuke Taguchi and Dragon Lee! Amazing. And this is one of my shorter videos only only because I kind of stole seats and I was kind of nervous a little bit about security saying, Hobo oh, Tom, you don't belong in those seats. They didn't. I think they, re I think actually in the beginning, they tried to move where I was sitting down, but I said, I'm hobo, Tom. I'll sit where I darn well feel like sitting. I want to sit here. So that fat woman got in my way by standing up too often. She goes straight to the ocean.
obviously I'm I am getting better. Again, really fun, super fun, super fast. I mean, amazing junior heavyweight match. I don't know what else can be said. I mean, even I got excited during this match in junior heavyweights. I mean, it was going fast and end of match flare. And my gosh, if they did this on they if they let their their two hundred five division do this, they'd be number one. In the entire galaxy, much less. In and then, ding, ding, ding. Production time. Because this is when worlds collide. Florida, and to everybody watching on Twitch Live right now, this main event is about to explode! This tag team match is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first, with a combined weight of 428 pounds, they are Tetsuya Naito. Just about the best out, love. 
Probably a horrible oh, fashion. Probably gonna get a little check minus for playing copyright stuff. Who knows? But I don't want to make the show better for you, my YouTube audience. Again, thank you very much, Nostrum. All those who have subscribed, please like and subscribe and share and send an email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Put that up a little bit later. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see how goofy I am because it's. 2.06 in the morning, and I do have to go to the gym and go to work tomorrow. Now it's time for the main event of the evening. Let's get ready to rumble! 
Yeah, Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi, the Golden Lovers. Versus Naito and Takahashi. With Daryl, I like. Boom! We're getting up Los and Gobernes, the Japan versus the Golden Lovers. Amazing. Kota Ibushi at one point. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. This 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 is just, this is just Daryl the stuffed toy cat got just the biggest pop as Kenny Omega did. I gotta like this Daytona Beach crowd. Such smarky people. You know who my mic's change the volume on my speaker so there's not as much reverb. Again, it's a very hoboish production. I was texting my friend earlier. I said, I think my whole setup cost me, I think, $35. <laughs> it was a $5 microphone. Maybe $10. But when I got it, it was $5 that I had to get for a class. And... Education technology or something like that. And I think $30 for the one editing program that I use. Again, welcome to a Hobo production where I have where one of my feet is a ham sandwich on a stick. But by no means was this a ham sandwich. This was a flaming yawn. If I want to break my scale, this was a Bigfoot sirloin grilled on moon rocks. I mean, this is a Flaming mignon with, with, with Wagyu beef topped by Kobe beef underneath grade A Angus corn fed steak with Gorgonzola blue cheese sauce with Asiago and grilled baby asparagus and, and rainbow carrots or, or some amazing dish that I can never afford. This is your $500 filet mignon steak dinner because this was amazing. Again, 
when Takahashi left up there all the stuffed toy cat, which there were plenty of, because the one woman in line behind me had a Daryl the cat. Daryl the stuffed cat got a as big a pop as Kenny Omega did. Again, there's going to be a lot less of me talking. To start off, this is awesome. Enough said. crowd just kept on chanting. There were pops left and right. I mean, Kota Ibushi, and I know he wrestled a blow-up doll, and Kenny Omega wrestled a nine-year-old. The fact that they could do this and sell it and make it look so cool. Takahashi put Daryl in the middle of the ring! Kota Ibushi had a stare-down with it? Like it was a real person, wrestled it like a real person. Takahashi's amazing. There has to be more Takahashi and Ibushi. Whoever's in charge of New Japan, book it. It was fun. It made me smile. It made me laugh. It made me cheer. It made me boo. It made me do all the things as a wrestling fan I should want to do. It was great! I mean, why the WWE can't do this is, is beyond me. And I'm not the brightest individual, even though I do have a doctor, which I will show you people one day. Again, maybe when I have my 10th subscriber, I'll have my perfect 10! 10! Pizza party! Tell my friend who's going to feature Diamondback Jack Maverick. Again, watch something in New England Championship Wrestling or something like that. But again, this was just amazing. LIJ versus, you had LIJ, ver, LIJ, Golden Lovers, LIJ, Golden Lovers, Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. It was nonstop. I mean, they would double team on Kenny, they would double team on Naito. Double teams all, double teams for everyone. And it was fun. Yeah, New Japan just does the main event right. I mean, oh wow, I have more notes? I don't think I could write this much. Again, you had the teasing of finishers. Every time the other team or person would go for a finisher, they, they would reverse it somehow. Again, the, the, the idea of the dastardly heel, not the cowardly heel, not the arrogant heel, but the dastardly heel. 
He knows what to do. He knows when to pull the partner out of the corner. He knows when to go into the crowd and bring Kenny Omega up on the stage. And they double team him for a suplex on the stage right in front of Rebecca. Too sweet for life. And again, it's just truly amazing. Unfortunately, uh, uh, my name is Hobo Tom. And there's a reason I'm Hobo Tom because the freaking battery on my camera died. So, no more videos to show you guys. I'm sorry. Please don't come after me. Break, 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 break. Again, my only disappointment is Yano wasn't there. I can live with that. And this is awesome. Again, uh, yays, boos, and then everyone just said, yay, yay. Hey, we're tired of booing. We're going to cheer for everyone. And it, uh, it's so good. And then Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega picked up the win. And probably my next video, I do give a shout out to Daytona Beach that I'm going to put on the Friendo verse. Because I have a question I'd like to post to all of you in the YouTube reel. Where would you like to see your favorite wrestler retire to? Indeed. And I'll post that on the friend of Facebook later because I, I had to take that on my cell phone. The cell phone and, and, and camera. Ah, technology. But again, that was it. I mean, this was the freaking amid epitome. This is the 1860 Dom Perignon, which this is not. Again, that was <laughs> when worlds collide. New Japan for wrestling oh, here at the oh, Daytona oh. Ocean Center. So hopefully I didn't blow the minds or eardrums of any of my viewers. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, I do put up at least a weekly YouTube generally reviewing Raw and SmackDown. Remember, my girlfriend's coming next week for a vacation. Yes! So you get to see both of us. More girlfriends, less of all about Tom. It's better for everyone. Again, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Again, take a second, like, even if you have to dislike, at least comment why you dislike it, or send an email why you dislike it, and subscribe. You never know, you might see something you like. I know the month of July is going to be full of wrestling content from the WWE. Um, I'll try and post that. A couple times, maybe if I can get to bed before three. I'll try and put up a place where you can see Hobo Tom in person. Again, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Nostrand, uh, the Beast something, Tim Murtha, and the five other subscribers. Thank you very much for your subscription. Again, too sweet for life for Rebecca. And again, just wait until I have my perfect 10 pizza party for my perfect 10 subscribers. And that'll be a little super bonus. I'll give you a quick tour around the hobo production facilities. Here in Bumtona, Daytona Beach. See a little bit more of Chispa. To see me play pro wrestling online. Oh, the other thing that was a lot of commercials, which is weird. Again, for New Japan and for Fire Pro Wrestling, which is a video game coming up for PlayStation 4, where you can have New Japan. I figured, hey, I went to the New Japan show, I'll plug their products for free. 
And again, for my perfect 10 pizza party, it would be WWW or WWE A17. And it would be a ladder match between the six faces of Tom and Diamondback Jack Maverick. Or maybe a hobo, a hobo elimination challenge. Again, a hobo death elimination challenge in Hell in a Cell. And again, you have the true face of the girlfriend. Either Mistress Heather, yes, or Princess Ikoshi. You never know, folks. And thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everyone have a good night. Be safe. If you are on, I'll, here is your public service announcement. If you are going to drink red wine, and which is very yummy, please do not drive. Have, have a designated driver or take a cab. Uber's been in the news too much. Lyft has been in the mail too much. And it, news too much again just be like hobo tom if you're going to drink stay at home no harm no fall folks bye have a good night er, morning <laughs>